Hi everyone, this is V and welcome back to my channel. So today it's another video on the colors, but more precisely on beautiful and strange colors. Oh, it's the kind of colors that you go in the store and you look at them and you're like, oh, they are interesting. Uh, can I buy them? Oh. And sometimes we have difficulty to know the difference between them because of their name, because they actually have the same name but with a different pronunciation so for people that's not used to use them or not used to know them they kind of weird and know and are they are lost they are just lost so i'm gonna tell you the difference between the fluorescence the phosphorescence the iridescence and the interference did you understand everything that i said no uh, first my accent second all of these words uh, sounds the same so we're gonna do the difference between the four of them so if you are ready i know you are i know you're curious i know you're looking at me and go, let's go i want to see the color color come on come on come on let's go let's go let's go let's go let's go so if you're ready let's put our switch on first color that we're gonna talk to you about is the Florence's color aka the neon colors so the neon color this is an example of one fluorescence color aka neon so you have them both so i have two examples you have the orange you have the green so usually the neon color you have them in yellow green orange purple blue uh, but they not have every color uh, in the book because it's not every color that can be transformed to be a neon color So it's actually a color that is really bright, but it's not uh, a color is gonna glow in the dark It's just a bright color. I think when you use the UV light on them Yes, they're gonna bright but they not did not uh, absorb the light to flash in the dark without the UV light So this is the difference between uh, the two of them. So the neon colors uh, you're gonna see in my example. I use the canvas board and I divide them by two. I do. I did one uh, one base that is black and one base that is white, and I put the color in the two parts. So you will see the difference between them. So you see the neon works with both of them. I really like them uh, on the black part. Uh, for some reason, some of the colors are more transparent than others. So just think about it. Uh, maybe you will need uh, different layers to give it the pop that you want. But it's a color that pops. Uh, if you want to do some dripping with them, I really like them. Um, so neon aka fluorescence color. The second color is we talk about it in the neon, we compare them with the neon. It's the glow in the dark color aka phosphorescent color. So a phosphorescent color is a color that is uh, primarily white but absorbs the light so when you close the light it glows in the dark. This is the only thing that does. So the phosphorescent one, it's a color that absorbs light, so when it goes in the dark, it glows. So this is why they give it the name Glow in the Dark, but the actual name is phosphorescent. So if you want some of these colors, just go with Glow in the Dark. It's gonna be easy, just easy. So you see in the um, in the two example, uh, the phosphorescent one, I'm gonna give you an example with the lights off, so you will see if it's bright enough or not. Mm -hmm. People, when they buy this kind of color, they usually want the brightest color in the world in the dark. They want, they want a light in the dark, but just be careful, it's not the brightest uh, light in the world. So if you want to do a project that really has um, uh, an effect when you go in the dark, just keep that in mind that more layers you put on this, more is going to bright up, but it's going to be eliminated. Also, they're not bright for a long time, they bright in the dark for maybe 30 seconds, if I'm really lucky, 30 seconds, so much, usually it's about 10 seconds, so just being, just keep that in mind because sometimes I was really disappointed with this kind of color because I have really had high hopes for it, I was, oh, it's gonna stay uh, five minutes, yeah, yeah, and five seconds later, I'm like, where it is, where it is, so. Oh. The third color that I'm gonna explain to you is the iridescence one, aka the metallic one. Metallic one. So the metallic colors uh, usually are in gold, silver, uh, bronze, uh, this kind of color. It's more of a shimmer kind of color, so it's not a matte color like usually uh, colors are. Uh, so it has a little bit of shimmer, so if you want to put a little kick in it, just a little kick. Just use the iridescence uh, color, aka the metallic one. So it's easy. Iridescence equal metallic. Iridescent. Iridescent. Metal. Iridescent. 
metallic. So um, they actually, and now for people that really like this kind of um, a finish, but it doesn't doesn't want it to be in gold silver, uh, I think the company Liquitex um, did a medium that is, I think is the iridescence medium. So you mix it with every color that you want, it's gonna make them iridescence. But I'm gonna give you another trick uh, with the fourth color that we use, that is gonna be so awesome. So the fourth color and the final one is the interference one. Interference! AKA, I think duochrome is more of the name that's more appropriate for this guy, but it doesn't have a name that's exactly the same thing as interference. The color you see, the, my color is green. It's a beautiful green. So it's a color that's made for people that really likes to paint on a black surface, so on a black canvas or anything like that. Because when you use bright colors like green, like yellow for example, when you put one layer on a black surface, the, the, the color won't pop as much as with a white surface. So you need uh, to put three, four or five layers to make it pop uh, more. So these kind of color are first was first made for these artists that works on a black surface. So what it does is at first you see it's white, but when you do one layer, on a black surface the color pops out so you see the green so you see the example I did on my canvas to show you the difference between them but it's not you, you look at it and like okay that's it so what it's so amazing with this color the other thing that's amazing with it with this color is when I told you about the metallic color with the gold silver and the brown color I told you that they don't make a lot of metallic colors so you have two choices if, if you want to put every color that you want in the metallic form so for the first solution I already told you you can use a medium that is a, an iridescence medium the second way that you can use it it's with this so when you mix the interference color with an irregular one, it's gonna make it more opaque. So you can work it with a white surface and it's gonna transform them in more of a metallic form because they are usually more shimmer color when you use them besides of a uh, regular color. So you can mix with them and make a beautiful metallic color. So it's like two in one, oh my. So you have the difference, the four difference between them. So we learned today the four different colors for special color, special color, like the fluorescent, phosphorescent, iridescent, and interference. Today was not to give you a course on words, to learn difficult words, pronounce, even for me, they were difficult in my mouth to pronounce. So uh, it's important that you actually understand the uh, effect that it does. So when you want to go in the art store and you don't know the name, but you know the effect, just tell them and they will know. So I want a color that's like glow in the dark. I want a color that's neon. I want a color that is metallic, so they will better understand if you just have problems with the name. The only downsides of these four colors is they are only available in acrylic. I think I saw the uh, iridescent one and the duochrome one in watercolors, I think in the Daniel Smith company, uh, but I didn't saw it in oil painting. Uh, so this is the only downside, but it's acrylic, so it's on water, so you can paint it at first and just do your project after. Uh, you can mix them, this is why mixed media exists. So the art actually more uh, available in the acrylic form, but I saw uh, the iridescence and the duochrome in the watercolor in the Daniel Smith company. I'm gonna give you a link down below if you wanna see. Uh, if you like this video, don't forget to give it a thumbs up. And if you're not subscribed already, come to the family, because here we learn art without being so serious. Because art is fun, bye guys.